out of control at the White House. No, not just coronavirus, raccoons. There's an invasion crawling around the media cables on the White House lawn, sniffing at bags of gear. Is there food in there? Making a beeline for CNN's Joe Johns in the middle of a live shot. Get! There he is. Ah! Now, no events on the president's schedule today. Maybe you think Joe has seen too many movie raccoons. Does someone need a hug? You too might lob a footstool just to scare it. No, no raccoons were harmed in this exercise. If this was your second run-in with a raccoon, just the week yeah. before as Joe was about to go live. I felt something on my leg and the first thing I thought was it was a cameraman from another network and I looked down and it's a raccoon that had just grabbed my leg. Law enforcement is on the hunt, spotlighting them with their flashlights, throwing some sort of sandbag, which the raccoon actually tried to drag away. One ended up in a Secret Service security shack Dogs have joined the search, even broomsticks have been deployed, but like in the movie, the nut job. Not so fast. The raccoons keep coming. Is he still there? Can somebody chase him away? Someone tried to trap them. They have put, out, put some marshmallows. Some rooted for the raccoons. Cue the raccoon gifts. That White House raccoon even created its own Twitter account, though with raccoon misspelled. Sure. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Mice have previously invaded the White House, and President Calvin Coolidge's wife had a pet raccoon. But never before have raccoons run amok. In the midst of a pandemic, a White House reporter is often told... Please stay safe. Where's your mommy? <laughs> but unlike other White House occupants, at least the raccoons always wear their masks. Ginny Mose, CNN. Frickin' raccoons, man. New York. Again, this is the second time.